Now then, my friends, a few episodes ago, I recorded a video about Raise 2, which is the chippy in Benidorm. Now, I got lots and lots of comments of people saying that the best raise is actually Raise 1, and that's the original Raise chip shop. However, I did explain that the raise that I went to was actually the original owners, but Raise 1 was the original place, the original chip shop itself. So, Today, we're going to head over to the original Rays, which is in Old Town Benidorm, and we're going to try out their fish and chips. Now, it's going to be difficult because, as you know, when I did Rays 2, we had Iris, who had her magical batter, and it was unbelievable. I gave it a 10, and can we really get any higher than a 10? Well, we're going to head over to Rays 1. There's three as well, by the way, Rays 1, 2, and 3, but we're going to go to Rays 1 today. I did a bit of a recce yesterday and I went in and it does look more of a, an authentic fish and chip shop from Britain. So I liked the interior of the place, however I didn't taste their fish and chips which is what we're going to do today. And I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. Remember if you've not seen the other one that I did, have a look at that first because we're going to compare them together. This literally is going to be a fish and chip fight off between Raise 1 and Raise 2. If you're new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now without further ado my friends, let's go! Right, well there's quite a few fish and chip shops, British fish and chip shops uh, in Benidorm. You've got Ray's 1, 2 and 3. There's also, I'm told, one called Dave's. And there's one right here called the Daily Catch that uh, people's told me about as well. And this is supposed to be spot on. And it also says hand cut chips. Take a look. Well, I've got to say, it looked nice and clean in there and uh, stylish. Also smelt really nice as well. Uh, what do you think to the prices in there? And I've got to say, out of all the fish and chip shops so far, you're not going to get a better view than in there, are you? Because this one is in the old town. The other one's uh, back up in the new town and uh, not much of a view. That, what a superb view. The only thing is, they haven't got that magic ingredient. Iris's batter. Come on, onwards. Tell you what, got a bit of a bit of a dab on. <laughs> it's warm for January. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I think this for me is the perfect perfect temperature because any hotter than this, you're not even going to be able to walk around in it. Bit of a t-shirt. I've kept my jeans on. I reckon though, I could swap them for shorts in a bit. Right, so we're heading off to the old town near. Um, I think it's Pigeon Square or something where all the pigeons go on you. I showed that in uh, the last video with the, uh, or the one before, I don't know, showed what in the tapas video uh, where there's like pigeons all over this woman and I'm like, no thanks, not for me, definitely not. I've had pigeon before by the way when I went to Hong Kong to a Chinese restaurant. I thought it didn't sit right with me, 
eating a pigeon. It was a bit gritty. Oh no. Anyway, come on. Off to the old town. Onwards. Right, okay, better not get knocked over by this Porsche. McCann, is it a McCann? What is it? Cayenne, McCann. Sounds nice though, doesn't it? Not electric. Anyway, we're not talking about cars today. We are in Benidorm, the old town now, and we're on the lookout now for Ray's One, the oldest fish and chip shop in Benidorm. Officially the oldest, it even said it on it, so um, let's try and find it. I think it's around here somewhere. Right, it's supposed to be down here somewhere. I've got to tell you, I love, I do love this part of town. I love the old town. It's really nice. Look at these umbrellas up here. I love it. Look at it. Look at all these shrubbery and plantage or whatever it is shrubbery there we go i knew i'd get it right eventually right it says it's on my left so it's got to be down here somewhere and they did say they were open from 12. so i'm hoping they are i went in did my research where is it then it's got to be down here somewhere where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Raise one, fish and chips. The oldest chippy in town since 1979. I was only 10. Crikey. Let's have a look. Oh, do you know what? I've just seen, we do not accept card payments. Now I've got to go and find some cash. There's a cash machine there, that's probably charged me. That, it's got my back up now. It's got my back up already. Come on. Right, I'm gonna have to go and get some cash out of the machine. I mean, it does look like a, a retro kind of British fish and chip shop. Uh, they've even got their neck curtains. It reminds me of my mum actually, she used to have neck curtains like that. <laughs> um, yeah, it reminds me of it. We've got the menu here as well. We'll take a look at that when we get inside. Um, opening times, 12 noon to 7.30 p.m. Closed on a Sunday. Uh, right, I'm gonna go and get some cash out of that machine. It's gonna charge me though, that is now. It's gonna charge me. And I've got a Euro account. Oh, it's got me back up, but I'm not letting it, I'm not letting it cloud, 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 cloud. I'm not letting it cloud my judgment, my friends. I'll get this out and I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> right, got 50 Euros out. So um, it charged me three Euros 95 to get the money out. So I'm presuming I mean, this is one ATM Cajero and I'm using a Revolut card out of a Euro account in it and it still charged me three euros 95. So immediately the fish and chips have cost me more money. Anyway, let's get in there. I've told you, not ready, cloud my judgment.
Right, my friends, so here we are inside Raise One, the oldest chippy in town. Um, blimey, nearly as old as me. Um, so we're going to do um, the large, I reckon we're going to go large cod. We'll go large, or should we go large haddock? Go large cod, I think we'll go cod or haddock. Cod or haddock, what do you reckon? What's the most popular here? The cod. The cod, right, we'll go large cod. Uh, we'll go large chips. We'll go uh, mushy peas. We'll have a curry sauce on the side as well. You know the score by now. Uh, we'll also have a um, cup of tea. because It's got to be a cup of tea, hasn't it, with fish and chips. Loving it in here already. Very retro. It's like a proper, proper old school fish and chip shop. So uh, let's get down to this. Right, my friends, so we've got the, uh, the goods here, we've got the fish and chips, cod, chips, we've got the curry sauce, got the mushy peas, uh, we've got the bread there as well, and uh, we've got the uh, my cup of tea, my pot of tea. Now, did you notice I put the milk in first? Now, that's controversial, my friends. Before we go any further, take a closer look. Okay, so I think first things first, let's get some um, salt and vinegar, or vinegar and salt on there. There we go. Um, it's strange, because in um, the last videos that I've done, uh, you've actually said, some people have said salt first, then vinegar, and then they, and it's very controversial that, because people say then, uh, the vinegar washes the salt off and vice versa. They have, you have your own, you have your discussions in the comments section down below. Uh, I used to put the uh, salt on first, but I've changed and it's uh, you guys that made me change it a little bit. Right, so I think first things first, let's, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose the lemon. There we go, I'm gonna pop the lemon over there. Um, cut into the fish there. Okay, show you what that's like inside. Got the cod here, there we go. There we go, let's show you this. Here we go. Okay, let's bite into this. Let's go in for this. Here we go. Look at that. Check the batter out on there. Nice fish. There we go. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to taste the mushy peas. Mushy peas are nice, we're going for a chip as well. Mm. Slight. Slight crispiness to the outer there, there we go. Now, we're going to try the curry sauce. See if there's any kick to the curry sauce. Get a chip. Get a couple of chips on there, dip it in the curry sauce. Have another go at that one a second. Let's try that again. Dip it in, bit more curry sauce. Hmm. Right, now then, we'll take the bread. Pre-buttered, there we go. Pop the chips on, you know it. Get it in there. I think pop that on there. This could do with a bit of ketchup. Do you have any ketchup at all, please? Thank you. Grab some ketchup. We've got to put ketchup on the bread, haven't we? We've got to put ketchup on the bread. Right, there's my butty waiting. My chip butty waiting ready there. I think while we're waiting, we'll have another. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Heinz tomato ketchup. Let's uh, cut that, pull that open, tear that open, pop that on there. There you go, you know it makes sense. Look at that. Proper chip butty. Squash it down. That's the best bit, isn't it? Mmm. There's nothing better than a chip butty. Mmm. Love a chip butty. In fact, you know what I'm going to do. Dip it in the curry sauce. I've never had so many comments, by the way, saying that curry sauce does not belong on fish and chips. And I told you before, it was Sarah. I never had it. Sarah, my girlfriend, started me off on it, and she's from Yorkshire. Are you thinking that would be mushy peas, but she doesn't like them. Mm. Right. Just need a cup of tea now to wash it down. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Now then, don't forget we're marking this out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. And looks alone and on price as well. Leave me to it now. Go on, leave me to it. Mm. I had to leave a bit. I'm so stuffed. It was quite a lot of fish there. Um, here we go. Look. I don't know if you saw this on the last video, but I don't think I'll be able to do this. Pigeon Square is it or something? Right, okay my friends, so let's get down to business. First of all, um, I couldn't eat it all because I'm full uh, to the brim. There was a lot of fish there, I have to say. And normally I would uh, eat it all. Uh, I don't like waste, but I couldn't finish it all. It was, it was too big. Um, I wasn't expecting, there was two pieces as well. Um, but anyway, uh, first of all, I've got to say, the lady that worked there, uh, she, how lovely, I've, I've I, I'm, Honestly, so, so nice. And I listened to her accent to start off with. And I thought, you're from Nottingham, but it's a mother who owns the shop. And she's from Stapleford near Nottingham, but she's not really been over there. And I thought, well, you must have picked your accent up from somewhere because it's just, it, it was, it sounded like a Mansfield accent, but she was so lovely. So, so lovely, absolute. So, Teresa's a name. Go in there and go and meet Teresa. It was a pleasure meeting Teresa, uh, so there we go. Right, raise one, the oldest chippy in Benidorm. Uh, she gave me the bill, it would come to 12 euros 40, which I thought, well, that's cheap. Uh, and I paid it, and uh, she said, oh, I've not charged you for the extra, which is the curry sauce, I think, she said. 
Uh, she's because you, you you look like you were filming. You look like you're professional. She said. But I've never been I've never been called a professional before. But there we go. I didn't expect that. I didn't ask for it, and I didn't I don't expect anything. But it was very nice of them, and I didn't know until after I paid. Um, so uh, let's get down to business. It also says on there haddock. I did ask for cod, but it says had special. So haddock. It tasted like haddock, but uh, anyway, it t the fish was nice. Um, I'm not going to pit one against the other here with raise one or t raise two. By the way, there is no raise three. Teresa told me a little story in there. Stay with me because I've also found out where Ray is and what he's doing. Um, so I'll tell you that in a minute. Teresa told me what he was doing because his daughter apparently still lives here, but Ray's gone back to the UK and I know what he's doing. Um, the chips, you might have seen a couple of little bad chips in there. Um, maybe it's the time of the year with the potatoes or whatever, I'm not sure. Um, the fish was nice and meaty. The batter, the batter, I'll be honest, the batter wasn't quite as good as um, Iris's batter, but it was nice, it was crispy, it was nice. Uh, the curry sauce, great again. I loved the interior. If I had to go for over both shops, um, I preferred the interior of Ray's One because it was more of an authentic fish and chip shop feel to it and I enjoyed that. It was nicer whereas Ray's Two felt, I don't know, like a... Uh, I, like a not the same, I can't explain it, a bit more of a conservatory feel to it or whatever, glass conservatory feel. But you've got the batter on there. So for me, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I recommend that you try both of them. Uh, but I'd like your score in the comments section down below. So uh, here's the receipt again. Look, uh, it's 12.40, 12 euros 40 in total there. That's with your tea, your bread, uh, and my peas, but they didn't charge me. She didn't charge me for the curry sauce, but it still seems fairly cheap. But you'll have to tell me, I can't remember what raised two was. Anyway, thoroughly enjoyed it. Highly recommend that you go to both of them and you or if, maybe you've been to both of them and tell me raise three doesn't exist by the way anymore uh, that's gone now so there's only raise one and raise two uh, apparently it's a pub or something now now ray <coughs> is a bus driver in london apparently there we go he's a bus driver in london so if you're watching ray uh but comment in the comment section down below i'll come and see you next time i'm uh, down in london right so score wise i'm gonna go and I need to be fair with this one. I don't want to pit one against the other because I think they're both worth a visit. Um, so, I'm gonna go with a 9.9 .9 on this one, okay? Because I thoroughly enjoyed them. And Teresa was fantastic. Um, you have to go and see her, by the way. I've, I've never met anyone so nice. So go and see Teresa, uh, who works there. I'm gonna go with a 9.9 .9 because I think for me, I think Iris's batter is unbeatable. Um, but all in all, 9.9, .9, it's a great score. Raise one. Uh, and as I say, it, a lot, I prefer Iris's batter, I'm going on here, but I, but I prefer the interior of that as well. And I, and I absolutely adored Teresa. I thought she was amazing. So there we go. Go and say hi to her. That's all from me today. Please let me know your score in the comment section down below. Um, I know some of you before has also said that raise one is better. This is just my opinion, tipping it with the batter. Please support both of them. They're both family businesses. Keep them going, support them, uh, and, uh, and go and say hi to Teresa. That's all from me today. Uh, I was going to film something else, but do you know what? I'm not. I'm going to have a wander around and then head back to the hotel uh, and have a little rest for a bit, a little siesta and then start editing again. So I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. And hi, Teresa, if you're watching, it was an absolute pleasure to meet you. Bye-bye. Curry sauce was nice, not a lot of kick to it, um, but I enjoyed it. I'll tell you what I did enjoy, what I really liked was the, uh, please don't knock me over, what I really liked was the interior. It was absolutely gorgeous in there. It was retro, proper chips shop style 
interior, whereas I thought Raised 2 was more uh, of a restaurant than, um, for God's sake, flaming hell. Always somebody. Get out of my way. Go on, get out of it. 